campaign, he is drunk and unwell. Before they can even reach the border, Varys succumbs to plague, forcing the entire expedition to turn back. Marcus has no choice but to return to Rome with his brother's body, abandoning the northern border to the ever-growing barbarian threat. He returns to a court facing its own crisis. The Empire's many wars have exhausted the royal treasury. There is nothing left to fund a new expedition against the Germans. Most officials probably were wealthy enough that a missed payday wouldn't matter much. But a soldier who was basically living hand to mouth and supplementing that living by gathering booty from conquest, those things begin to matter. Unable to pay his soldiers, Marcus resorts to extreme measures according to the Augustan history. Marcus held a public sale of his own imperial furnishings. He sold goblets of gold and crystal and even his wife's silken gold embroidered robes. It's uh, sort of as if the royal family in England ran out of money and had to put a lot of, you know, had to put the crown jewels in eBay or something to raise money. I call this a public relations scheme because you couldn't possibly raise enough money to manage a war by selling off your second and even your third set of China, which is more or less what the emperor did. But it amounted to an attempt to show that even the emperor was going to make a personal sacrifice in favor of the common good. The sort of sacrifice that Americans once made in the buying